Divers, welcome back to Weekly Crypto. So today I'm going to touch on Bitcoin. So before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to my channel so don't miss out the upcoming videos that could be time sensitive or could be important. Also, you can follow me on Bitchute. Bitchute, I usually post this type of video. I can't even talk about it on YouTube. I warn people ahead of time uh, what's going on. Uh, of course, at the time nobody talk about it. Uh, if you're interested, you can go to Bitchute and check out my uh, video over there. And also, I'm on Gather as well as Twitter and Odyssey as well. I also have a Patreon group. If you're interested, you can check them out as well. So let's talk about Bitcoin. So, um, so U.S. government basically uh, own more Bitcoin than any other country, and they're talking about why are not they set, uh, why they are not selling. But the thing is, there are rumors right now in Twitter saying that uh, the Treasury plan to sell, uh, plan to dump some of the crypto. And if you still remember back in uh, March uh, this year, earlier March this year, uh, U.S. government uh, sell uh, 215 million uh, in, uh, the Bitcoin that they seized from the uh, Silk Road, Silk Road. And at the time, if you go back in history, uh, they basically dump a whole bunch of Bitcoin and then Bitcoin dropped from uh, around 25,000 all the way down to uh, 19,000. That was in uh, earlier March, uh, they dumped all this Bitcoin. And right now the question is, are they planning to dump uh, the rest of the Bitcoin, right? That they seized from Silk Road or from other places. <clears throat> so right now the US government held about 16, uh, over 69,000 Bitcoin and then this is worth about... Uh, billions of dollars, one billion, I think. And if you go to look at uh, some interesting holding by nations, you can see US uh, US uh, hold about 69,000. I think they uh, dumped a whole bunch of them uh, uh, early this year. and But they still have some uh, Bitcoin left. And then El Salvador, you have 2,473 Bitcoin. And they basically, they, uh, they, they support the uh, because a currency, uh, as a tr exchange of uh, currency in uh, El Salvador. And then they have multiple uh, Bitcoin purchase and a program to uh, mine Bitcoin using Volcano uh, Energy Ukraine. Of course, they're going to legalize crypto. That is uh, easy for them to transfer the money. And then in the name of war donation, probably there's a lot of corruptions over there. And uh, also maybe money laundry over there. I don't know. Bhutan is an inter interesting country. I mean, such a small country. There are 13,000 um, Bitcoin. And then they're mining Bitcoin with hydroelectric power since 2020. This is very smart. Uh, I think they have a, still have a king in there over there. I think they're very rich in natural resources and also um, some type of uh, uh, rare earth. And even I think they have a lot of uh, gold and silver over there as well. I'm not sure. But uh, it's a very interesting country. And then Venezuela, of course, uh, they uh, accept Bitcoin uh, because their currency has failed. And of course, uh, they and then they are saying that uh, they are going to create the, uh, their Venezuela uh, currency uh, backed by um, <clears throat> and then they're saying uh, backed by oil but uh, but I, I don't know but the thing is Venezuela at the, uh, after the currency collapsed the hyperinflation people are basically using Bitcoin even the uh, or other cryptocurrency like Dash to do a, as a medium of exchange at the time uh, when there's a hyperinflation during that time and Finland, they have 85 Bitcoin. They said to proceed uh, from the seized Bitcoin, uh, go to donation to Ukraine. Uh, and Australia, they have 26,000 Bitcoin, multiple seizure linked to the Silk Road. Brazil, they have 30. And then this is a seized Bitcoin in 2021. It has since legalized uh, for payment. Uh, right? Uh, I think in, even in Brazil, they have uh, like South America, a lot of countries that go per, go through like hyperinflation. In Germany, uh, there are 3,533 Bitcoin. This is a seized Bitcoin. And then they sold v, uh, v the bank partner to crypto exchange. Netherlands, um, they have over 2,000 Bitcoin. And then they have strict enforcement of crypto regulations. Bitcoin obtained full uh, v, uh, seizure. And Netherlands is a very... Um, Unfortunately, uh, the government pushing on the climate agenda, on the farmers, they basically want to push out all the farmers uh, in Netherlands and in the name of climate change, unfortunately. And a lot of uh, farmers protest. Of course, no mainstream media talk about it. And uh, they want to shut down all the farms. Uh, they're, they're saying that uh, they produce too much carbon footprint or they have to pay uh, some type of uh, cut down the... Uh, fertilizer use or they have to pay carbon credit 
tax, uh, whatever, I don't know, that would happen eventually to uh, all uh, different, a lot of country, especially in the Western country. <clears throat> So the question is there's some right now there's some rumors that they go uh, the treasury is going to dump a whole bunch of bitcoin in the next few months so it may affect the price of bitcoin. Let me know what you think uh, about uh, the whether the treasury is going to dump the bitcoin in the next few months and there's also rumors saying that uh, basically basically if they dump bedrock will buy it and I'm not surprised I mean everybody want to buy on the cheap right and the and the government is not work, working for you, it's not working for the people, they are working for corporations like BlackRock, Vanguard, those uh, company, those corporations, they basically own half of the world. Uh, like BlackRock, they have 11 trillion in managing assets. So let me know what you think, comment below. What do you think? Uh, do you think they're going to dump Bitcoin? Uh, comment, uh, I would love to hear from you. If you found this video interesting, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, also share with your friends, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out the upcoming videos that could be time sensitive or could be important. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, Gather, uh, also on Patreon as well, and of course, uh, you can check out my Bitchip video as well. Uh, remember, crypto deep divers, we the people take control of our wealth, stay wise, stay safe, peace, I'm not your financial advisor, investing uh, cryptocurrency, commodity, and stock market can have inherent risk. Please use the due diligence. This video is only for entertainment purposes, not financial advice. I'm not responsible for any loss for this video or future video. This is, as I said, it's for entertainment purposes. You should uh, consult with your, your financial planner. And, uh, and you should also do your own research. Peace out.